Sparked by an idea while riding my motorcycle around Iceland in 2004, it wasn't until three years later that I boarded buses and freight trucks. I would point my camera out the side windows, photographing with an average interval of three seconds, regularly traveling Iceland's 1400 kilometer circle highway. Since starting photographing at the age of 20, a documentary approach is what's fascinated me the most. Whatever caught my eye was always guided by that fascination. Early on I had started traveling around Europe and later America, while regularly returning back to Iceland. My influences along the way were many, including my time with French photographer Antoine Mouton in Paris, as well as the influence and guidance of James Baylock and his extreme eye survey. By courtesy of Iceland's main bus and freight companies, I was allowed access to the vehicles that would make the project possible. My main problem was fighting the constant shaking of the vehicle trying to keep the camera steady, as different parts of the country pose different problems. The methods I used evolved over the years, along with the amount of photos I would take during each trip. This hybrid between still frames and video, I just thought might work. But there was more to the project than just the photographing. All this traveling, all this drifting, all this going back and forth. Conversations with truckers, people and fellow travelers. Passing a full day on a bus or a freight truck. Waiting for a connection, hoping for better weather. People you meet, things that happen. All this was a major part of the project. A lot of time passed staring out the window, watching the landscape roll by. I realized this was an extension of the drifting of earlier years, but the difference now was that I had a steady point. I was returning to the point where I'd have all the material that I needed to create the finished film. My belief that the idea could work was being strengthened. The growing number of images added yet another aspect to the project. Repeating shots from the same places. Showing how much a place can change with the variable light. Some trips were simply back and forth, not more than six hours or so, while others took more than ten days, sleeping at friends' places, in tents, hostels, and abandoned cars. The amount of images grew, and after two years the end was in sight. Now, with this circle being finished, the next one begins. <laughs>